Okay, back. I am doing another quick fat finger demo. Uh, I just wanted to show off a function that I wrote, which is going, which is for taking screenshots, um, which is going to be useful for doing these because I'm using screenshots for uploading the, for making the thumbnail for YouTube. So basically, what we're doing here. <laughs> As making the function, okay, we're gonna set the screenshot file is going to go into your pictures directory, assuming that it has. Uh, it's gonna call it screenshot minus or dash in the date, making a PNG. And we are going to start a new process in um, using the import function of of what's it called, of uh, image magic. And what we're doing is from the current frame, we are going to get the window ID, which is this number, but that lets you just grab the window without having to know the dimensions and all kinds of other stuff. And it's gonna expand the, you need to use the expand file name here because if, what? Right, because screenshot file is not defined yet. Uh, it's not going to expand the uh, home directory without using expand file name. It'll say that it's going to have a problem getting it. And then it's going to take a screenshot. And what I still need to do here is that, and it's going to give, it's going to return the, the location. So we can pass that into something like however you're going to upload your whatever. I could probably do a message, not a message. Well, what I want to do though is to check the, uh, right now it makes a buffer for, you see here, it start process, name of the process, a buffer name. And this is the command that you want to run. And then each, then you have a, the, the, the following parameters, uh, arguments are going to be the parameters that you pass to the, um, to the process. Uh, so this is going to do make a new a async in this process, and it's going to. The problem is that this stays up in this buffer. Uh, so I really don't care about that right now. Um, but I should check if it's uh, if it was successful, and um, if it's successful, then I should kill that buffer. Uh, let's see how this works. So you can do, uh, doesn't gonna really show much, screenshot frame. I don't know what the beeping's coming from. Let's take a look at it. Uh, now we have screenshot, see so the buffer here, process screenshot finished. And then we should have inside of pictures, uh, screenshot, this is the, Right, and see, that's the screenshot that we just took. Uh, there is a package that already does something similar to this, um, but it needs a newer version of Emacs than what I got. Um, there's also one for org mode that will take a screenshot and attach it. But this, this is what I, this is, this is what I want. Okay, call tooth. Oh, this was a short one this time. Call tooth. <laughs> 